Hey everyone, welcome to Aquaculture 101. We know that there's a lot of misconceptions and myths surrounding seafood, so we came down here to beautiful downtown Portsmouth, New Hampshire to see if people really know the facts. We have four true or false questions that we're gonna ask the people we meet downtown and see how they do. Let's go. The first true or false statement we asked was, wild caught salmon and farmed salmon both have the same amount of omega-3 fatty acids. Let's see how they did. False, I think they're fed differently and they would eat different foods and have a different diet. I'm gonna go with false in that one. I would say true, hey. but I don't know why. <laughs> false. False, because my girlfriend's a nutrition lady. That one's true. Both have been shown to produce similar amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. The next statement was, fish farming is bad for the environment. That's true. I feel like, like they're giving different things than they might get in the environment, so. True. I'm gonna go with true. Yeah, for the environment. I, I'm sure it depends on the conditions in which they're raised. Uh, so I'll say false with some caveats. False. True. False. Believe it or not, Farming fish actually produces less greenhouse gas emissions than farming land animals. Third statement, less than half of the world's seafood is wild caught. False. False. I'm gonna go with true, false. True. True. According to the World Bank, around 52% of the world's seafood is farmed. And in the next 10 years, that number is gonna to continue to increase. Statement number four, you should avoid farmed seafood from other countries. I'm gonna go with true. Probably, probably depends on the country. True. I would say that's true, probably depends where. True. That's true, because I feel like the regulations are different in each country. True, because I guess you don't really know where it's coming from, so better safe than sorry. False, any seafood that's imported to the US needs to meet strict FDA requirements and many of them require third party certification. Thanks for watching this Aquaculture 101 video. I hope you learned something and if you want to learn more, make sure you go to www.aquaculturealliance.org slash blog or search social media for hashtag Aquaculture 101.